guys, it's Pastor Amy. We're going to continue on with our theme called Blueprints. Before we get started, let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you are so good and your plans for us are also so good. We love you and we welcome you in our hearts and our homes this morning. Amen. Today's theme is about how love is the foundation of God's plan. The verse for the theme is Jeremiah 29 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. For today's object lesson, I brought in a Jenga tower to show you what it looks like when you have a firm foundation and when you don't. Imagine that this Jenga tower is your life, and when all the right things are in all the right places, you're standing pretty strong. But when people start to take things from you, like your hope, or your joy, or even things like your toys and your friends, you eventually start to become a little unstable. You begin to lose your strength. After a while of people taking all these things from you, you eventually don't have the strength to stand anymore. That's why it's so important to build your foundation on something and someone that absolutely cannot be taken from you. Do you know who or what that might be? That's right, it's Jesus and the foundation of his love. No matter what people take from you, they can never take Jesus or his love away from you. Today's Bible lesson is from John 3, verses 14 through 21, when a man named Nicodemus got to meet Jesus. Jesus was doing his ministry, and he was preaching the truth and performing miracles. This caused a lot of people to love him, but it also caused a lot of people to not like him very much, and other people were really confused by him. Jesus hung out with a lot of people who made a lot of bad choices, and this confused the religious leaders back in the day. One of those people was Nicodemus. He was a Pharisee, and he was very confused and curious about Jesus. He decided that he was going to meet with Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. He asked Jesus why he associated with such bad people. And Jesus explained to Nicodemus that our choices aren't what determine whether or not we'll go to heaven, but that if we are born again, that we will go to heaven. Nicodemus was so confused and he told Jesus, of course I can't become a baby and be born again. And Jesus explained that he didn't mean that we would become babies and then be born again. What he meant was that the change that happens when you give your life to Jesus is so radical that it's practically like getting to start all the way over. He also explained to Nicodemus that he is the Messiah, and in order to go to heaven, you have to believe that. And that's where the verse John 3:16, which is super popular, comes in, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We get really used to that verse, but it's important not to forget what it's actually saying. It's saying that because God loves us, He sent Jesus. And because He sent Jesus, we get to have eternal life. Ephesians 2 verses 4 through 10 says, But God is so rich in mercy, and He loved us so much, that even though we were dead because of our sins, He gave us life when He raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us, as shown in all he has done for us who are united with him, Christ Jesus. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this, for it is a gift from God. 
Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do good things he planned for us long ago. These verses show us that it doesn't matter what good things or bad things we do. Jesus loves you just the same and his plans for your life are unchanging. All you have to do is believe in the radical love that he has for you. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that love is the foundation of the plans that you have created for each one of our lives. I pray for grace and courage and faith in you as we figure out our day-to-day -day lives and that we keep you as a foundation because with you and your love as a foundation of our lives, we will stand much stronger than we ever could on our own. We love you, Lord. Amen. All right, guys, have a great week. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you love the video. Be sure to have your mom or dad like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, post pictures of your crafts in the comments. We'd love to see what you created. Have a great week. Bye.